Hi, I'm Jaime Goldberg. I'm over here in Ireland. The reason being why is years ago on my father's deathbed, he was telling me about all the countries that he had visited in Europe during the Second World War. He told me about how beautiful Ireland was. And when I was about to ask him which town in Ireland that he was stationed in, he turned around and went, uh, and died. Now, I've come over to Ireland here to find out where my father was stationed. I'm visiting every single place that ends with a, uh, today, I'm an, oh, uh. Hi. I'm here to meet Fergus McCulloch, a local historian from Oma. He tells me he's got a real-life museum in his bedroom. I'm going to see it and see what artifacts and interesting stuff about Omag there is. Let's go and find out. Come on. Come on, this way. I think this is the door here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I mean, where is this guy? Come on! Vegas, are you in? Hello? Hello? Hello, it's Jaime here. Hey. Jaime Goldberg. I'm here to see the local historian, Fergus McCulloch. Around the back, hey. Okay. Around the back we go then. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jaime Goldberg. I take it your name is uh, Fergus McCulloch. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Pleased to meet you, Fergus. You're going to be my uh, tour guide. Give me 50p. What do you mean, fifty cent? Fifty p for entrance fee. It used to be two pound. Nobody came. Here we dropped it to a pound. Nobody came. Now it's fifty p, and you're the first. Fifty cent? I mean, god damn it! I mean, do I have to pay for this guy? No, he comes free. <sighs> There's your fifty cents. I mean, what does he think it is, the Smithsonian? Huh? Place for a museum? It smells kind of musty. I mean, who lives in a place like this? Okay, where's this museum then? Fergus? Here it is. This is it? A chest of drawers? This is it. A chest of drawers. My God, I hope there's something really interesting in here. There is something really interesting in here. Okay, well, let's open it up. First of all, we got this, Luxy. Omar, County Tyrone. That's a postcard from Omar. Do you mind if I hold it? Take a wee look there, but don't hog it too long, do you? I'm showing this to the camera now. It's a real postcard from Omar County Tyrone. I mean, amazing. I mean, you wouldn't see this at the Smithsonian. Thanks, Fuegas. Wow. That's okay now. Next of all, we have a candle. And that, wow. that, that there was made in the Oma Candle Factory. The Oma Candle Factory closed down in 1982. That's the last candle from the Oma Candle Factory. And, and like, I see it's been used, but like, when do you usually burn it? Sometimes we burn it at night. Okay, that stands to reason. Thank you, Fuegas. Now, next of all, we have the Tyrone Constitution. Wow, was this a real life on the paper? This comes out once a week. Once a week on a Wednesday. 
that's today's Tyrone Constitution. Wow! I mean, smell it, lick it, it even tastes like real newspaper. That's an off now. This, this is the other one. This is called the Ulster Herald. The Ulster Herald? The, U the Ulster Herald. It too comes out once a week. It comes out on a Thursday. On a Thursday? So that you don't get confused with the Wednesday. Wow! Tomorrow there'll be a brand new one out. Look, it says Voice of Tyrone! That's what it says on the top of it. But we're an Oma! The Voice of Tyrone. Omer, oh. Omer's in Tyrone, you see. Okay, I gotta brush up on my geography. Now, next of all, we have the Oma GA shirt. What does GAA stand for? Gaelic Athletics Association. Wow! And this is like Oma? This is like, this is Oma's shirt eye. Wow, well, maybe my papa wore one of them. He might have done. What parish did he hail from? Um, Brooklyn South. No, he wouldn't have played for Oma then, no. I'll just put that away now. Okay. Now, this, this shirt here belonged to Patsy McGlade. Yeah. He played for Oma Town. Let's just hold this up to the camera. This, this was Patsy's lucky shirt. Yeah? Yeah, he wore this for two years, and then two years he broke his leg twice. His marriage fell apart, he got the sack, and then he committed suicide about six months later after that. And this is his lucky shirt? That's his lucky shirt. I'd hate to see what happens to that guy when he puts on his bad luck shirt. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Wow, that is fantastic, Poikus. Super. Have you anything else in your museum? The final thing I have to show you today you know, is, is this here. It's a two litre jar of Strathroy milk that's now a litre. Wow! Strathroy, you see, is a wee place just on the outskirts of Oma and they make, they make um, milk out there. Wow! Real Oma milk! Can I taste it? You can. You can't get this in America. Is it kosher? Yes, kosher. Wow, it even tastes like Oma. I mean, if Oma was in a bottle, this would be it. Wow. Thanks, Wigus. I'm glad you enjoyed my, my tour of my museum. I think it was worth 50 cents. I think, I'll tell you what. Here's another 50 cent. Thanks, hey. So we're about to go into town now and we're going to see some beautiful, like, historical places. Is that right, Fergus? I'll show you some of the historical places of Oma now, if you follow me. Okay, let's go! <laughs> All right! Go boy from Boundary Lane! <laughs> All the businessmen, artists, and people like that used to try and live here. 
A two-bedroom condominium would have sent you back a few hundred G's. Anyway, Cat's Alley got its name from the Reverend Albert Katz, who was the local padre over here in the Church of Ireland beside us. Reverend Katz used to come down here and talk to all the salubrious people and tell them different stories. Here to tell us more about the history of Cat's Alley is local historian Fergus McCulloch. Fergus. I, well, I'm well, i just going to add the point you're right there a couple of wee things there. Uh, first of all, there was no Reverend Albert Kiatz. Uh-huh. It's called Kiatz Alley because there's a way lot of Kiatz live up and down here, you see, and they have done for years. And, and what you see on the ground there, do you see that? That on the ground, that's, that's Kiatz Doodoo. What? Kiatz Doodoo. What, what they call around here is Cat's pish and cat's shite. That's what that is in the ground. There was no, there was no Albert Cats. Here I am, Jaime Goldboy, covered in cat doodle, just like this guy who I'm paying twenty bucks an hour for, cat doodle. <laughs>